everyone. So we're going to be carrying on thinking about sweet potato today. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own character and then we're going to describe them. So once we've created our own character, we're going to describe their appearance. We're going to describe their likes and dislikes and we're going to describe their personality just like we did for sweet potato last week. So towards the end of this week, we're going to start planning and then next week we're going to write our very own superhero story based on Sweet Potato. Now, because Sweet Potato was a vegetable, we're going to create our own hero that's also going to be a fruit or a vegetable. Now, I'm going to choose a fruit or vegetable that I really like because they're going to be the hero of my story. They're going to save the day somehow in the supermarket. So what I would like you to do is I want you to pause the video once I've finished and have a think. What are your favourite fruits or vegetables and which one do you think would make a great superhero? So just like Sweet Potato, choose your favourite fruit or vegetable or one that you really like or like the look of that could be your hero. So pause the video and have a think. So hopefully you've had time to think about which fruit or vegetable could be your superhero. I've had a little think and I have chosen a strawberry. I think a strawberry could be a really good superhero. So what I want you to think about now is once you've chosen your fruit or vegetable, what their superhero name is going to be what they would look like as a superhero they're going to have to have a mask i imagine and some kind of cape they're not just going to look like the vegetable they're going to have to have some kind of disguise what do they like and what do they dislike just like we did for sweet potato what are their fears and worries and what would other items in the supermarket what would other foods say about this superhero just like we did for sweet potato but this time I want you to think about your own hero, your new fruit or vegetable that's going to save the day in your story. So if you want a little bit of thinking time, pause the video and then just press play when you're ready to have a bit more of a think. So I've decided to give my strawberry the superhero name of Sassy Strawberry. You're not going to mess with Sassy Strawberry in the supermarket. And I've thought about all of those questions on the last slide. So what I'm going to do now is what I've already done is I have put my ideas that I've just thought of when I pause the video and I've put them into proper sentences just like we did last week when we wrote about Sweet Potato. So remember today we're not writing a story, we're not describing Sweet Potato, we're thinking of our own character and writing about what that character is like. So this is what I have written about Sassy Strawberry. This is no ordinary strawberry. This is Sassy Strawberry. Sassy Strawberry's skin is juicy red and she wears a green mask to match her leaves. She has tiny emerald gloves and bright shiny red boots. Sassy Strawberry loves playing with her friend Sweet Potato because they are both fantastic superheroes. She also likes flying around the supermarket at top speed. Super straw Sassy Strawberry sorry, does not like foods which cause trouble. She doesn't like her friends to be hurt because it makes her sad. So on this slide I've carried on with my description. This time I've moved on to what their fears and worries are and then what the others say. So Sassy Strawberry is afraid of sharp knives because she doesn't want to become fruit salad when it is night time. She worries about the dark in case a naughty villain sneaks up on her. Sweet Potato says that Sassy Strawberry is the best because she helps him rescue other vegetables in distress. Evil Pea says Sassy Strawberry is awful because she is friends with Sweet Potato. So you'll notice in my writing that I've put some words in red and I've put some words in bold. You don't need to do this in your writing, but I've done it to show you that I have used some noun phrases. I've added in some adjectives which I've put in red. To add a bit more information so it's not sassy strawberry's not afraid of just knives she's afraid of sharp knives and villains who are naughty and then the words are in bold are conjunctions which we talked about last week to add more information making our sentences a little bit longer using words like because when if and 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 i would like you to think about whether you could include some of those in your writing as well so that's adjectives and conjunctions so now it's your turn to get writing. If you're not really sure you need a bit more thinking time, remember you can watch this video again 
or you can sit and think before you get straight on. So you can use the sheet that we've made for you or you can just do this on a piece of paper. You might find it really helpful to draw a picture of what your super fruit or super vegetable is going to look like. I just have my photograph of a strawberry, but you could draw your fruit or vegetable with the mask and the cape and you could colour it in before you do write and if that's going to help you. Then you'll need to write your description of your hero, thinking about all those things that I talked about, describing what they look like, their likes and dislikes, their fears and worries and what the other people say about them. Make sure you use some adjectives and conjunctions as well. And don't forget those capital letters. I've seen lots of brilliant pieces of work emailed to me, but don't forget after a full stop, the next word should start with a capital letter. Once you've finished your writing, if you get it done really quickly, you can check it through, see if you can add anything else in, see if you've missed anything out. And once you're happy with it, you can email it to us or you can show a grown up if you're at school. I am really excited to see who all your superheroes are, your super fruit and your super vegetables. I hope you enjoy this writing and I'm really excited to see them. See you later.